الحمد to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us to reach in this blessed month of Rabi'u al-Awwal. The first spring, Rabi'u al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the spring of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in which he sent forth and caused to manifest the greatest manifestation of his mercy, the greatest manifestation of his fadl, the greatest manifestation of the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The greatest manifestation of the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The greatest manifestation of the ihsan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The greatest manifestation of the ma'rifah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, لَقَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ The indeed, لَقَدْ emphasis Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed many favors upon the creation. Some that we can enumerate, some that we can understand, some that we don't, we cannot even, even encompass. For example, we look at our own bodies, we see that the eyes are a favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our brain is a favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our skin is a favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our nose and, and our, these are just the parts, but the senses that go along with them are favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if we look at the Qur'an and the address of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to His creation, He did not remind, He reminds of the favors of Allah, but He did not say that we have to repay any of these favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He does, He, he manifests His generosity upon His creation by giving us these gifts, none of them were mentioned as the, the greatest gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent, which was the Prophet As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَقَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ That indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done a great favor upon the believers. إِذْ بَعَثَ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا When He sent from amongst them a messenger, and a Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a prophetic messenger, يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ that he recites to them the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ and he purifies them Allahu Akbar وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ and he teaches the people the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Qur'an وَالْحِكْمَةِ and the wisdom and the ulama and the mufassirin they say the wisdom refers to his blessed sunnah the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَإِن كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ضَلَالِ مُبِينَ and before the sending of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Indeed, they were in a, in, 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 in a, they were in a, in a, in error. They were in clear error, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They were misguided. So when we celebrate the birth of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we are celebrating guidance. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought through His beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are celebrating Tawheed. Because it was, if it wasn't for the birth of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how would we know La ilaha illallah? How would we know Ma'rifah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? People would still be worshipping idols that they created from their own hands. Ayyadu Billah. So we're worshipping Tawheed. We're worshipping, we're celebrating Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we celebrate the Mawlid and the coming of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We're celebrating the Rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rahmatul lil alameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Rabbul alameen. And he sent forth through his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his blessed form as rahmatul lil alameen, as a mercy for all the worlds. We're celebrating the light that battled the darkness and took us from darkness into light. Qad ja'akum min Allahi nu. That indeed there has come to you a light from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Min Allahi, from Allah a light wa nuwa kitabun mubin. And a clear book. And the ulama and mufassirin they say, this nur is referring to the light of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nur Muhammadiyya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Kitab al-Mubin is referring to the Qur'an. So we're celebrating the coming of the light and we're celebrating the coming of the Qur'an through this light sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the greatest celebration. As some people say, why do you say Eid Milad al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Why do you call it Eid? And the, the answer to that is, if it wasn't for this Eid, there would, no, there would be no Eid al-Adha or Eid al-Fitr. 
is because of this Eid, because of the birth of the Prophet wasallam, that we can experience Islam, that we can experience guidance, that we can experience Iman, that we can experience Ihsan. And it is through him that we received our faith wasallam. Some of the ulama, they even mentioned that Laylatul Mawlid, this night of the Mawlid of the Prophet wasallam, is afdal than Laylatul Qadr. SubhanAllah. And they, they give their reasons. Why is it after the Laylatul Qadr? Because again, if there wasn't for the Laylatul Mawlid, there would be no Laylatul Qadr for us. Allah. How would we know about Laylatul Qadr? Who told us about Laylatul Qadr? Who told us about Ramadan? Allah. Who told us about Siyam? Who told us about Qiyam? Who taught us about Laylatul Qadr? Who opened the secrets of the Quran for us? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And indeed, if it wasn't for the birth of the Prophet وسلم, we would not even know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We would not know our Lord. This is the greatest ni'mah. To know our Lord, to fulfill our purpose as a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I have not created jinn or mankind, humankind, except to worship me. And the Mufassirin, they say, إِلَّا لِيَعْرِفُونَ Except to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our purpose is to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if it wasn't for this blessed birth of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how would we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, how can we forget the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who when he was born, he was saying, Ummati, Ummati. During his birth, he was remembering us. One of the mu'ajizat of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was born in a state of sajda. He was born makhul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His eyes were full of kuhl. Even though not, not, kuhl was not applied to him by his mother, but he was already makhul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In another narration, it said that he was born without an umbilical cord, <coughs> sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was born circumcised, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Is it, it is as if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Himself is celebrating the birth of the Prophet ﷺ. That he is setting him in the most pure of states. ﷺ. And when he was born, he was in the state of sajda. And he had his shahada finger pointing to the, the samawat, to the heavens. Proclaiming tawheed and he was, he was saying, Ummati, Ummati. That he was praying for the Ummah even at the state of the birth of the Prophet ﷺ. So how can the Ummah not remember this birth of the Prophet ﷺ? The one who from the beginning, from the time of his birth, and before that spiritually even more, but from the physical birth of the Prophet ﷺ until his final births in this world, before he departed physically from this dunya, he was remembering us, you and I. Ummati, Ummati. Oh my Lord, forgive the Ummah. Forgive the Ummah. How many tears did he shed? How can we not appreciate the Prophet ﷺ? When Nabiullah, when the Hawariyun, the disciples of Prophet Isa ﷺ, and I mentioned this in the previous Jum'ah. They said that, Oh, Nabi Allah Isa, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send us a, an ayah from the heavens. Give us a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can increase in our belief, that we can strengthen our iman. Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, first he said, Qalat Allah in kuntum mu'mineen. He said, Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aren't, aren't you believers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why do you need a sign? They said, Ya Nabi Allah, we need a sign so that we can bring comfort to our hearts. He talked about, Inna quluvuna wa la'ana man qad sadaftana. That we can know that you have told the truth and that we can, by, by the sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can have yateen, we can build in yateen, in understanding. So then Prophet Isa alayhi salam, he said, okay, he made a dua to Allah. He said, Allahumma rabbana anzil alayna ma'idatan min as sama This is in Surah Al-Ma'idah. O oh Allah, O oh our Lord, cause to descend upon us a table spread. As we say Ma'idah in Urdu, we can say Dastar Khan. From the heavens, a heavenly Dastar Khan. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, allow a heavenly table spread to come upon, descend upon us. Look at the wording of Nabiullah Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam. And this is not just a regular, this is the Nabi of Allah. And he's not just any or any any of the Nabi, he is Ulul Azm, one of the Ulul Azm, he's one of the great prophets of Allah. Nabiullah Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam. 
May Allah have mercy on him and his brother, Sayyidina Maryam alayhi salam. He said, Ya Allah, make this table spread and what you're sending on it, the foods and the blessed fruits of heaven and the foods that we're going to eat from, make it a celebration for us. For the first of us and the last of us. And it is signed from you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَرَزُقْنَا وَأَنْتَ خَيْرُ الرَّازِقِينَ And provide us, and indeed you are the, the best of providers, Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, if a table is spread coming from the heavens, with heavenly fruits and, and dishes, is a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is a cause of celebration, Eid, as said by Prophet Nabi Allah then what is a greater sign, the table spread from Allah or Sayyidina Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu <laughs> The Prophet Sallallahu <laughs> As Imam Al-Busiri he says in his Qasidat Al-Burda, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the greatest ayah, he is the greatest sign of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So if the table spread was being celebrated, then this nur and this rahmah which is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through whom we received guidance, through whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took the creation out of darkness and into light, this is the greater ayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and He has more right to be celebrated. This is why we say, Eid min al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is why we celebrate, we commemorate. This is not a bid'ah, this is not shirk. You cannot commit shirk if you're celebrating the wiladat of somebody. If you're celebrating the mawlud of somebody, you're automatically dismantling shirk. You're automatically denying shirk. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, الَّذِي لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُلَدْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not born, He does not give birth, He was not born. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So by celebrating the birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, we are strengthening our tawheed. We are strengthening our yaqeen in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this gathering. Amen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in connection Amen. to His Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to rejoice. Amen. This is the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَلْيَفْرَحُوا We have to be happy about it. Anybody, any Muslim or Mu'min who is happy at the birth of Rasulullah is celebrating from Allah. Doesn't matter if you're here or not. <laughs> Automatically, you are a celebrator of the Mawlid of the Nabi You might say, no, I don't celebrate. But if you're happy at the birth of Rasulullah, Marhaban, we love you because we love Rasulullah. And how can we not be happy at the birth of Rasulullah Allah Only a sick heart cannot be happy. There. Only a person who is linked to shaitan. You know, shaitan only cried a few times loud. He yelled, he screamed. Only a few times in history. And the Ulama say one of those times was at the birth of Rasulullah. So if you are one of those who are crying and you're sad at the birth of Rasulullah, then question yourself which side are you on? But if you are those who are saying, Ya Rasulullah, Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alayhi, in any form of a word you're praising the Prophet, then you are on the side of the Mu'mineen. You're on the side of those who are pleased in the presence of Allah, those, those whose pleasure, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure is depending on, is, is descending on them. Is descending on those people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with those people who love his beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from among them, ya Rabbi Amin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all the gatherings of the Bilal Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in our city and throughout the world. Throughout the world, this is, throughout the physical world, the birth of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi is being celebrated. And throughout the spiritual world, it is being celebrated. It, even in the heavens, it is being celebrated. Even the Malaika are happy. They're happy at the birth of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they look for the gatherings. They look and they, they, the Sayyaheen, the special Malaika, who look for the gatherings in which Allah and His Habib are mentioned, are remembered. And they go and they encompass those gatherings. They encompass with their wings and then they all take part. Allahu Akbar. And then they go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they tell them what, what they have seen, even though Allah knows everything. But He questions them. What did you see, ya Allah? They're remembering you, they're remembering your Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They're asking you for your forgiveness, they're asking for Jannah, they're asking for, uh, for protection from the fire. 
And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked them, have they seen the Jannah? Have they seen? And likewise we can say, have we seen the Prophet Alhamdulillah, some of us have been blessed to see him in a dream, but many of us have not seen him, but still we're here. Yeah. Still we're here. This is our connection to the Prophet This is our Iman in the Prophet This is our love for the Prophet And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a vision of the Prophet Always in our dreams, in wakeful states, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And in Yawm al Qiyamah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise us and resurrect us with Him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and allow us to enter Jannah with Him, Ya Rabbi Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfill all our noble intentions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala complete the construction of this masjid, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Qaleeban Ya Qaleeb, inshallah, as soon as possible, Ya Rabbi Alameen. And make it a markaz, and a markaz of nur and light, and a markaz of the love of Allah and the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rabbi Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bless all of us, those who could not come, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise the darajat of uh, the Shaykh Ahmed al Qata'ani, a great Shaykh from Libya who has passed from this world. He was a great mufti and an alim and wali and mashallah. Uh, Dr. Jamal told me about him, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise his darajat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah, Allah give him jannah to for those in Allah, with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant shifa and afiyah to all those who are sick and suffering. Brother Nasruddin, uh, he is not well, he has cancer. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him shifa and afiyah and a quick recovery. Likewise, any of us who are suffering in any form or way, may Allah give them a complete and quick recovery. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise the darajat of all those who have passed away from the ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bi barakati hadha al-majlis al-mubarak al-mawlid al-sharif sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahum maqdi hawaijana ya rabbil alameen. Wa rahmatika ya rahmatika. Amen. Uh, I'm going to come in. Some of them are saying that I'm going to come in.